Have you been wondering what the book Feeling Great by David Burns is about but don't have the time to read it? In this video we are going to summarize the book and extract all the core messages. Hey, it's Grace from 5-Minute Summary where we cover the core messages of books and contents in 5 minutes. If you are new here make sure you click that subscribe button, let's get into it. You feel the way you think, in other words, your negative emotions, like depression and anxiety, come from your thoughts and not from the circumstances of your life. The negative thoughts that upset you are nearly always distorted and twisted, they're just not true. When you can change the way you think, you can change the way you feel, best of all, that change can happen rapidly, even if the feelings of depression and anxiety are severe. While the feeling good is about the cognitive revolution, feeling great is about the motivation revolution, if you haven't seen the 5 minute summary for feeling good, make sure to check that out. Feeling great is based on the idea that we sometimes get stuck in depression and anxiety because we have mixed feelings about recovery. Although we may be suffering and desperately want to change, there may be powerful conflicting forces that keep us stuck. Cognitive distortions, which DR, Burns introduced in Feeling Good, are highly misleading ways of thinking about yourself and the world, the following are 10 of the most common cognitive distortions. There are 10 cognitive distortions. All or nothing thinking, you think about yourself or the world in black or white, all or nothing categories, shades of gray do not exist, this is also known as dichotomous thinking, for example, you tell yourself, I'm a total failure after failing an exam. Overgeneralization, you think about a negative event as a never-ending pattern of defeat or a positive event as a never-ending pattern of success, for example, you label yourself unlovable after a breakup. Mental filtering, you focus on something bad and filter out all the positives, or you focus on something positive and ignore all the negatives, for example, you get one low rating in a job evaluation and conclude you're doing a lousy job. Discounting the positive or negative, you tell yourself that certain negative or positive facts don't count to maintain a negative or positive image of yourself or the situation, for example, someone compliments you, and you tell yourself, they're just saying that to be nice, feelings of inferiority nearly always result from mental filtering and discounting the positive. Jumping to conclusions, you jump to conclusions that aren't warranted by the facts, there are two common versions of this distortion. Mind reading, you assume you know what other people are thinking and feeling, if you're at a party, for example, and feeling nervous, you might assume people are judging you. Fortune telling, you make negative or positive predictions about the future, if you're depressed, for example, you might tell yourself things will never get better. Magnification and minimization, you blow things out of proportion or shrink their importance inappropriately. Emotional reasoning, you reason from how you feel, this can be very misleading because your feelings result entirely from your thoughts and not from external reality, for example, because you feel like an idiot, you reason you must be one. Should statements, you make yourself miserable with shoulds, musts, or ought tos, self-directed shoulds cause feelings of guilt, shame, depression, and worthlessness. Labeling, you label yourself or others so you see your entire self as totally defective or superior, for example, when you make a mistake, you call yourself a loser instead of saying, I made a mistake. Blame, you find fault in others or yourself instead of solving the problem or identifying the true causes of the problem. When you record your negative thoughts on paper, it makes it much easier to see what you're telling yourself, in addition, it becomes vastly easier to identify the distortions in each negative thought. Positive reframing Dr. Burns argues that negative thoughts and feelings are not, in fact, the result of what's wrong with a person but rather what's right with them. Before trying to make a change, consider What are some benefits or advantages of this negative thought or feeling? How might it be helping you? What does this negative thought or feeling show about you and your core values that's positive? One of the most powerful discoveries DR, Burns made is that your negative feelings always say something really good, even great, about you, and they will nearly always help you in important ways too. If you enjoy this video and find it valuable, click the like button and subscribe to the channel, make sure to also check out the other videos in the personal development series where you will find more 5-minute summaries of amazing books. I'll see you on the next one.